But first at 1030 tonight, the Queen City is quickly turning into a tech town. Yeah, some national publications are calling Charlotte one of the hottest cities in the country for tech businesses. And one specific sector is leading the way. If you take a look at the Charlotte skyline, you'll see the towering figures that helped establish this city. There's Bank of America. Over there is Wells Fargo. And you can't forget about Truist. Banking put Charlotte on the financial map, but now some leaders in the industry say the Queen City is getting noticed for something else. It's really just been a series of dominoes uh, in Charlotte that has put us on the world stage as a, a, a major fintech destination. You may recognize Tarek Bakari as an outspoken member of the Charlotte City Council, but his day job as the executive director of the Carolina FinTech Hub involves combining the city's history of banking with financial tech startups. Really being able to tell successes like Better.com bringing a thousand jobs here, which then led to Robinhood coming, which then led to Varro Bank. And last week saw one of the biggest fintech success stories in the country when Avid Exchange, a payment software company based in Charlotte, went public and was listed on the stock exchange. In case you're wondering what exactly fintech is, the easiest way to describe it is using technology to either disrupt or enhance traditional banking. For instance, Robinhood helps people buy and sell stocks without going through a traditional broker. And Better.com has replaced the old-fashioned trip to the bank when you need a mortgage. The other cities in this nation, we are definitely on their radar as a major force that they're losing uh, companies and talent that are coming here. 